So in this short video, I'm gonna show you my workflow for how I clean up the raw motion capture data that I captured with Rococo's SmartSuit Pro 2. So in this example, I was creating a walk cycle. So the first thing that I did was obviously capture that walk cycle movement using the SmartSuit Pro 2. So I just jumped in the suit and acted out a few different walk cycles. So once I was happy with the capture, the first thing that I do is convert the mocap into a treadmill cycle. This strips out all of the forward motion and allows me to more easily loop it and edit it into a walk cycle inside of Maya. So once I retarget the motion capture data onto the Agora Stormtrooper rig. The first thing that I did was added that forward translation movement back onto the animation utilizing an animation layer. That way I could have the forward translation happening on the main mover control on its own animation layer that I could toggle on and off. That way it could play the animation in a loopable treadmill cycle as well as seeing it translate forward in 3D space. After I had that set up, I then started layering the detail. That means constraining the weapon and doing the first pass of cleanup, especially on the feet, as the feet had probably the biggest area that needed to be tweaked. So there was a lot of foot sliding. So this pass was going in there and locking down the foot plants, eliminating that sliding, and manually building foot roll using just the foot and toe controls, instead of relying on things like the foot roll attributes, which can often make the foot pass more complicated when it comes to cleanup. And then for more added control, I use animation layers to isolate specific tweaks like the foot trajectory, offsets, and arm posing. Doing this on an animation layer makes it way easier to edit dense data like this, and it also allows you to work non-destructively. So once the feet were behaving more how they should, I moved on to fixing arcs, reducing excessive side-to-side -side movement on the hips, and just checking the overall balance. Then I used a trick to basically get free arm animation without any work. So I baked the arm's local space movement which is basically following the upper body one-to-one, -one, and I bake that down into world space using the world bake tool, and you can also use something like AnimBot for this. And then once the arms movement was converted over to world space, I just grabbed all of those keyframes and just offset those keyframes a few frames to basically get free follow through and overlap just by offsetting the arm movements a few frames from what the body's doing. So this workflow is typically how I go through the process of capturing the motion capture, bringing it into Maya, and then cleaning it up. And I find this workflow allows me to animate much faster and iterate quicker and also work non-destructively utilizing the animation layers. So if you're interested in watching the entire full length process that I took to clean up this motion capture data, you can find it on my YouTube channel.